All right, so this is a revision of vectors, so it's stuff that you've already learned before. I hope there might be some little tweaks uh, sprinkled in here, but you've seen all of this before. So first of all, what's a vector? It's very, very simple. A vector is an arrow. Now, an arrow has two things. It has magnitude. That's how long the arrow is. Uh, but it also has direction. And so those are the two things that vectors have, magnitude and direction. Now, something that a vector does not have is position. Um, now, that means we can pick up the arrow and move it from there to there to there to there. It's the same vector no matter where I place it. All right, so there's our first step. What is a vector? It's got magnitude, direction, but it doesn't necessarily have position. Now, while it's true that a vector does not have position, you can define it using a certain position. So what I mean by that is if I have a point here on a Cartesian plane called point A, and I have another point here called point B, I can draw a line between them and call that vector AB. Okay, so that vector, it has a magnitude, it has a direction, and it has a particular position, but as soon as I define it as a vector, I can then start shifting it around. So I've defined it using AB, but now that it's a vector, it's not stuck there, I can shift it around. Um, now, usually when you've got a vector, um, the way that you denote it is with the letter U and like a little line underneath it. So vector U, in this case, is AB, uh, an arrow above it, is how you can talk about that. So I can say that uh, another vector, say C, um, i draw it there, I draw a little arrow there, D, you can see CD is the same length as AB, it's parallel to AB, so I can say that this vector CD, with a little arrow above it, is equal to vector AB. Same magnitude, same direction, different position, but I don't care, they're the same vector. So one way to talk about a vector is to talk about its components. Okay, so to create the vector u moving in that direction, you kind of move down to and across 4 to get from that point to that point, even though you move directly that way. So one way that you've seen to do that in the past is to say that u is equal to 4 across, that's 4i, um, minus... 2j. All right, that's a vector. That's a vector. So four i vectors, unit vectors in the in the direction of right, and two j vectors, two unit vectors downwards, and those added together make our our u vector there. Um, we can talk about addition of vectors in a sec. A second way to look at that vector or to write that vector would be say that uh, the vector u. is, uh, let's, let's draw in our numbers, 4, negative 2. This is called a column vector. Uh, you can see it looks like a matrix. You know what matrices are now. Um, that's just another way of writing the same, same thing. So we've got ahead of ourselves a little bit here, so let's move backwards a little bit, adding and multiplying vectors graphically. So we've got u and we've got v, these two vectors. If we want to add them together, it's really straightforward. Um, so u plus v... We take u, we'll draw that, we take v and we add its tail to u's tip, like that. So there's u, there's v. Now, u plus v, the new vector that we're trying to create, is from the tip of this, oh, the tail of u to the tip of v. So that's u plus v. Uh, very, very useful stuff. Now, if you wanted to um, multiply something, so if you wanted to say, uh, let's say, 2u. 2u is u multiplied by 2, so we make u twice as big. About that. Looks like my direction is off slightly, but you get the idea if you want to double, if you want to multiply u by 2, you just double the size of it. If you want to multiply it by 0 0.5 or divide it by 2, you just shrink it down. Um, we'll do that one. Half u. 
we just shrink it down to half the size. Um, and if you wanted to turn it around, let's say negative u, you're just multiplying it by negative 1, which spins u. Make it long enough there. Alright, so 2u, twice the size, half u, half the size, negative u, spin it around, and we can put it all together and do like something funky, like uh, 2u minus 3v. Alright, so 2u, twice as big as it was originally, that's about right, minus 3v. Alright, so we'll turn 3, we'll turn v into negative 3v. So that means we need to flip it around and increase the size by 3. So it would look more like up to there. Okay, so it looks more like, like that. And then I take that negative 3v and add it to 2u. So I'm going to make a mess here. So we put this here like that. 3 times the size of the original v. Okay, so there's, um, that's 2u, that's negative 3v, and our new vector, which I'll try to do in a different colour, is from the start of 2u up to 3, negative 3v. And that yellow vector I've just created is 2u minus 3v. Alright, that's a real mess there. Just take a look at it, think back, think of how you used to do things a couple of terms ago, that's what we're looking at. So I've shown you this uh, column vector here, so I told that u is equal to uh, 4, negative 2. I can create another column vector, say v is equal to um, 3, uh, 5. Now if I want to do u plus v, well, it's really cool because we know all about matrix um, addition now. We can add these two matrix column matrices together. So that's going to be 4 plus 3 is 7. Um, oops, don't need that. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So my new matrix, u plus v, is 7, 3 as a column matrix. And 7, 3 is 7 across and 3 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, I'll start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. That's what u plus v would look like. 7 across and 3 up. That's adding column vectors. Uh, we can also do like some multiplication plus addition. So if we had like 2u minus 3v, we could do that as well. So 2u minus 3v would be equal to 2 times whatever u was, 4, negative 2, minus 3 times uh, 3, 5. Uh, and so then it's all the rules you've learned for matrices, we can kind of apply to this uh, vector problem here. 8, negative 4, minus minus 9, um, 9, 15. Okay, and we get um, 8 minus 9 is negative 1, negative 4 minus 15 is negative 19. And we have this uh, new vector here. So I think that's probably enough for this video. We'll do a part 2 here where we'll revise some other stuff that we've learnt in the past. Um, there's some new stuff, you probably haven't seen column vectors before, but everything else you've seen before, uh, let's do another one.